Good morning. Welcome to Awaken and Energize. My name is Vibhu Nagrao. It's wonderful to see all of you today. I hope your week's been going well. Take a moment to sit comfortably and prepare yourself for greeting. Are you able to hear me? Please put it in the chat box if you're not able to hear. Okay. Some people say yes, some people no. Great. Thank you. So take a moment to sit up a little taller. Allow your shoulders to relax. Some of you have been here regularly and some of you might have just tuned in today. Thank you for that. I just thought I'd do a quick recap of the breathing styles we've been practicing. Today is the third session countdown. So we have two more after this. So I just thought, especially the breathing technique, which involves the hand gestures, I'd do a quick recap. So take a moment to sit up a little taller, open up your hand, take the middle fingers and bend them towards your palm, spreading the thumb and the pinky like in a little, like a C, make, making the formation of the C. We're going to close our left nostril, inhale from right, close right with the thumb, exhale left, inhale left, close left, exhale right. Let me repeat it one more time. Inhale right. Close right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close left. Exhale right. The simplest, easiest, beginner way of doing alternate nostril breath. It has many benefits, the primary benefit being balancing the right and the left side of the brain, cleansing the brain of any stored thoughts that one may be holding of the past. It allows your circulatory system to come into balance as well. The second type of breath work that we did was the humming bee, which was this little portion of the ear called the tragus. We put our pointer finger and press down on the tragus lightly. And we inhaled naturally, but long, filling up from the belly as if it was a balloon all the way up towards the collarbone. Full breath in. And when we exhale, we exhale with the humming bee sound like this. Mm. Let's, let's do it again with a deep breath in. Mm. I like to do it with my eyes closed because it allows me to go further inward. So I thought today would be a good day to practice these two and do a quick recap. So let's begin with alternate nostril breath. Bring your fingers 
back into position. And we'll do this five times. Inhaling right. Close right nostril. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. All this while your mouth is closed. Let's do it four more times. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Next three, let's try and do it with the eyes closed. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Again, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. One last time, inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Relax your hands down. Let's go back to the humming bee breath. Forefinger on the tragus. Place it lightly. Breathe in fully from the belly. Exhaling with the humming bee sound. Let's begin. Count of five. Mm. Mm. Last two you do on your own. Enjoy the vibration of the humming bee sound. Great job, everyone. Fabulous. Lovely to see all of you practicing. Let us proceed to Ketan Triya. Ketan Triya is a very simple technique. We've all been doing the Sir, Sir, Nama chanting while moving the fingers chanting in human voice, voice of whisper, voice of silence, moving the tongue simultaneously, and also imagining a white light above the crown of the head, penetrating, coming to the center of the forehead, going into the heart space, going into the belly, surrounding the whole body, enveloped in healing and affirmations of positivity and peace. Let us begin. Allow the prelude to the music to settle yourself. Close your eyes if you'd like. And chant with the music. Oh, 
Relax your hands down. Keep your eyes closed. And let the vibration of Sir Sir Nama linger. Invite and be open to receiving the blessings of the chant of Sir Sir Na Ma. Sir, may I be knowledgeable. Sir, may I develop patience. Now, may there be vitality in my life. And Ma. May there be communication. May my thoughts think well of myself and of others. May I communicate in a positive way with myself and anyone that I meet. May the vibrations of the, the, na, ma, Allow me to center 
allow me to calm. Allow me to energize every cell in my body so it is healthy, happy, and healing. May I live with ease, comfort, peace. May I offer that ease, comfort, and peace to anyone that I need. May my vibration of Sir Sir Nama knowledge, patience, vitality, and clear, compassionate communication. Be an offering that I share with the world. absorb for myself and be open to receiving. May I rest in the silence and stillness which is always and already here, unchanging, upon which all change is seen, whether it is to my body, whether it is to situations, objects, people, places, things, and the movement of my mind in the form of thoughts, emotions, and feelings. I am aware of being aware. I am that vast, spacious, stillness, ever present unconditioned, peaceful. Constant and unchanging. Rest there for a while. If the mind is luring you, go back to simple paying attention to the breath. The breath brings you into the now. You can take this practice of Sarta Nama outside of this time frame. If the mind is feeling agitated, just quietly chant in silence Sarta Nama, even if it is for five counts. You'll begin to notice that the mind begins to center. And there's a sense of peace. And whatever is agitating, will be. Or you might just simply respond or not react. Wishing you all a healthy and happy week ahead. Bring your palms together, rub them. Feel the warmth of your palms, lace them on your eyes. Enjoy the thermal sensation, relaxing the facial muscles. Gently place your hands down. 
open your eyes when you feel ready. And notice how relaxed and easy you are, even with your eyes open. The peace within, the peace without is still the same. You may choose to close your eyes again. And rest here for a while. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. And we look forward to seeing you next week, same time. Thank you for joining us. May your days be filled with peace, joy, and health. Namaste. Namaste.